Both of them join me now. James, what do you make of what's happened? Oh, it's um, clowns leading the circus. I mean, the only winner today is the lettuce and with the Daily Star. I mean, it seems to me that, that that might have an opportunity to be next leader. But, I mean, being a bit serious about it, the real losers in all of this stuff are the British public once again. For a year now, we've had increased inflation, cost of living crisis, and yet most of this year has been spent with the Tory party conducting a grubby leadership contest. This is now part two, which is basically not mm. solving anything. There's internal fighting with the Tory party that's been going on for a number of years now, but it seems to be that they're more concerned about indulging in game show politics rather than actually sorting out the thing that they're paid for, and that is the cost of living crisis. We're getting millions of people facing a zero-sum game choice about either heating or eating, and they're looking on at this stuff, Mark, aghast. I mean, Liz Truss, mm. 44 days in power. She wasn't up to the job. There was a whiff of witch huntery about the whole thing. But they shouldn't have chosen her in the first place. No. She's been in cabinet for years. No. They know what she's like. Her presentation skills and her salesmanship are, you know, she's not, she hasn't got any of that stuff. So it was inevitable it was going to end like this. But meanwhile, the most important thing is we have an economy that has hit the skids a long time ago and politicians who seem to be indulging in a vaudevillian game of thrones. And it's not good enough. So part of me looks at this with a sense what? of amusement as someone who's left the centre, but my overriding feeling right now is a sense of anger, and I'm sure that's shared with millions of people.